So in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own non-return live bait slider rig. There you are, non-return, so it will go down your line but it won't come back up your line. So the fish can only go one way to the seabed basically. Um, this is always good to use in conjunction with a, let me find it, just had one, with a large sort of uh, lead clip or lead link and you want to have that sort of on your line above your lead slightly longer than the um, hook snood on this live bait uh, slider so if this live bait slider is 18 inches you want to tie that two foot from your lead weight then you would have line down to your lead weight basically this stops that slider going down to your lead weight and tangling up but this will then present a bait down on the bottom circle hook on a perfection loop and I'll show you how to tie that and how to get that on there but this is a simple way to make a slider rig for bass or for cod this is strong enough to take a fish, 20 pound, no problem. If you want to go make 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 one that's even stronger, you're going to have to up the gauge of the, the steel rod, but then it becomes hard to manipulate by hand. You need special rod tools to bend and curve the wire. Anyway, I'll show you the components and I'll show you how to make it. So here in front of me is the uh, components and the equipment you're going to need to make yourself a non-return slider, live bait slider. So the two tools we're going to need wire cutters there, you need pliers, um, and then you're going to need a screwdriver, like a medium diameter shaft screwdriver, some scissors. You're going to need this is one point, I think it's one point four steel welding rod that you can buy packs of 10 for like three pound um, on the internet then got a black magic kl 550 circle hook black magic hooks are one of the best on the market got power swivel size one power swivel 190 kilo and then for the hook length on this, as it's for bass or cod, we've got 40 pound Cinetic Mimtec fluorocarbon. Right, so first thing you want to do is pinch near the end, like so, just curve that round. You want to get that nice and small curve on there. Right the way around, so it's 90 degree angle, there we go like so you can just pinch that in so it's tight right so there we go you've got a little curve at the top of your steel rod it's about four mil there then we want we go at a slight angle i don't know we say what's that possibly 30 degrees and we start by wrapping this bar steel rod sorry around the screwdriver once you get one not too bad and this doesn't have to be neat you can manipulate this afterwards so there's one, there's two, there's three, like so. So what we've got, we've got three turns around that screwdriver, hook point there, and the rest of the bar going off. So now what we can do, just manipulate these twists. They can be a little bit tighter, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
it's like press on the curves. You have to do it evenly if you're going to do this. I'm just going to open that one up. Just have a bit of an angle. Like so. So that's what we got there. That's probably about an inch wide. Next thing, we want to hold this bar here just level with the, the hook there. And we're going to bend it towards that hook, like so. And what we can do, we can clip that in there, like so. And that unclips. Just going to straighten that one up. Twist it around a bit. Just that clips in better. Like so. Now we want after about two inches after that clip, we're gonna just bend this when we can do it with our hands. We're gonna bend it away at about 45 degrees. There we go. That's like that. Now about an inch, inch and a inch and a half, inch and a quarter or whatever. What we're gonna do here, pinch that bit of wire, bend it round on itself to that point. We're gonna slide the swivel on. And we're gonna go fully round, I'm gonna go fully round this point of my Uh, pliers till it's tight a bit fiddly like so and then as tight as I can and what I'm going to do is just put that back up there so it doesn't twist and I can then go around the wire tightly then we go around one more time like so now all we need to do is cut that tag off with the wire cutters. There we are. I'm just going to twist that round with the pliers to make sure it's nice and tight. No sharp edges off it. Just pinch this up a little bit. There we go. Nice and neat. Right, and there we have a homemade non-return slider. There, there we go. That's how you clip it on your line. Clips up there. Strong enough to hold any fish. Like so. Now we want to cut about 18 inches fluorocarbon. Tie that on the end of the uni knot. Just like so. Off the tag end. And then this is the important part of the other end. We're using a circle hook. Circle hooks are the best hooks to use for live baiting. Um, they're the best hooks to use if you can all the time because they will only, well, 90% of the time, they will lip hook a fish. But to lip hook a fish, you want to have the most freedom of movement on that circle hook as possible. So you don't want to tie a direct knot to that eye. Otherwise, you're going to restrict, restrict the movement with the lack of flex in your line. So what we're going to do is going to put it on with the perfection loop. So I'll just put the link up there for the perfection loop knot. And I'm going to do it now. So, and there's still, you still need to um, watch this to, to, to show how to put a, a hook on it. So we do the first loop 
as you will see in the video. And on before you do the second loop, you put the hook on, you do the second loop, past the line through, and you pull the hook and that second loop through, you can then pull it tight, but you can manipulate this down. So I can close this off, turn that up. You don't want too big a loop here. So I'm gonna basically Put in if you like that a bit more, like so. Then you can pull it tight. Lovely. And there you have it. You have your circle hook with freedom to move on a perfection loop on your homemade non-return slider. So for this little slider to work, you'll have your main line there in my hand running down to a already fixed lead weight and then you want this to be facing this angled bit to be facing down towards the sea you'll unclip it you can then feed your line feed that over your line then basically you twist the whole mechanism over your line hook and everything and eventually you'll get it so it's running on your line like so you can then Clip it back in place. Any pressure on that's pulling down on the clip. It's not a problem. And it can only move down your line because then if a fish wants to go up, it kinks that way and it can't go back up your line. So it can't go back, it can only slide down. These are quite expensive. So that's how you can make your own, very simply. I hope this video has been of help. Please subscribe.